Dragon Quest Builders, everybody. Game just came out today. And I am going to dive right into it. All right, so. This is Dragon Quest Builders. Sorry there, I was dealing with something quickly for a moment. just came out today. I'm going to be filming it immediately right now after I got it home. We're going to start with story and then we're going to head into sandbox mode if I can do that because there is a couple recipes that I want to use for a base slash my home that cannot be used in story mode unless you're in sandbox. So we're what I'm planning to do is we will start story, and then after going through a little bit of story, we'll switch over to starting the search for the materials to make those items that are, um, to make those recipes from the day one edition, from the day one edition recipes that they give you, that you don't get other, can't get otherwise. That's right, starting there. Just I was not quite sure exactly how to word that. I will be giving all the characters that talk a semblance of a voice and their own unique voice, more or less, to add some more entertainment and value. Or not really so much value, but to add entertainment and make it more fun to watch. I have played the demo, so the first chapter I'm pretty much not going into this blind on the first chapter, but past that, this whole thing will be blind. Pretty much every time that I play this will be blind, and I will be pretty much streaming the whole story and the whole sandbox thing. Alright, so we're going to be going as the male, and essentially, uh, the default character's name is Bildrick, by the way, in case... Anyone was wondering, B I L D R I K. And what are we on here? Okay. And in the demo, you actually didn't have any control over the way the character looked. You just kind of were thrown in with a default name and everything. And I am actually going to give him... ...the same look as... Yeah, the same look as my um, icon slash character that my channel is modeled after Fulu from Breath of Fire 4, which would be long white hair, green eyes, and just standard white skin essentially. Alright, so the way the demo spelled the name, which I'm guessing would be the default name for the character, is this. And there might have been a C in there, I'd have to go back and look, but that was essentially what I am assuming was the default character's name. Or well, the def the canon name for the character of the game. But I'm going to go with this, which is my name, Masaki. And yes, I am happy with him. Building your world. A 
and this is actually where the demo started you. So thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, as I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Masaki, at last, at long last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hollowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child, your destiny awaits. Masaki, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? Hmm, I see you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving, and that just kind of explains how to jump and move. So we'd use the left stick to move and circle the jump, is pretty much what that is telling you. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Masaki, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly. But it is not the fate is not the fate of the world more important then? Oh my poor child, it, is it true? You are nearly at death's door? It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Alright, so yeah, they're supposedly someone talking to us, and as you can see here, this is, kind of looks like a gravestone where we kind of woke up, and yeah, so essentially, we woke up in our grave. So we pick up these three white petals that this person placed on the ground there for us. We'll find out who they are in due time here shortly. Good. Masaki, you've been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build a light of the Stump and use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Let's get building, and that's just telling you how to build when you're at a tree stump. Now what you're gonna do is take the tree, walk over to a tree stump, it'll say hit X to build over it in a little balloon. You do that, select the cream. And then you'll see another button at the bottom that says hit X to build one, and you do that and he just automatically does it. Wonderful, you have made your first creation. Masaki, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now use this healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press square to use tools and items. And this is telling you how to navigate the menu down here between all of your items. Left and right on the D-pad and then square to use them and then wanting you to use the healing cream to heal yourself for a little damage because they were not kidding. You do not start at full health, which is why you make that healing cream there. Hello. Game hasn't quite popped up in the list, but I can tell someone's there. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Masaki, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... 
And of course, he talks just by waving his arms and head around, and he doesn't actually say anything that we can hear. Hmm, well, yes. I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... Ah, <sighs> very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. So yes, basically, we are sitting here inside of our own crypt. At our own grave when we wake up. First, take this broken branch. So I go over here, pick up the branch that, they, that this person sets down. Well done, Masaki. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before, and use it to craft a cypress stick. So we're going to come back over here, hit build like it says, move down to the cypress stick, and build that. And we get our first weapon. Congratulations, my child, you have created your first weapon. Mankind wants my tools and use them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, uh, I hope that's not a bad typo. They misspelled civilization like that. That's just the way it's spelled in this world. Do so too, they built weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. Masaki, my child, you have been entrusted with a divine mission too. Hmm? I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more of... Ah, very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the main menu and place the cypher stick in your hand. Okay, this is equipping equipment, and this is just telling you how to equip clothing, art, slash armor, and weapons. So you're going to hit X to open the menu, scroll down to equipment, and over here you're going to see all of your weapons and armor you've made that you can hold. You're going to go over to the right to the cypress stick, hit X again, hit X on equip, and you'll equip it. Well done! Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. I'm gonna probably grab some water in my water bottle here um, after we finish going through all this talking, because there's quite a bit of talking in this game as it's a Dragon Quest game. And the fact that I'm gonna give each character a unique voice more or less the best I can is gonna wear my voice down over time. Masaki, my child. The dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rests on, rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Masaki, you're not asleep, are you? Uh, perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, First, you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. And this is just telling you how to swing your weapon to attack and break apart the surrounding environment to collect for building and gathering materials. So you're going to hit triangle over repeatedly to swing your weapon to break apart the environment and collect it for building. And that's also how you swing your weapon to fight and battle monsters when the time comes. Well done, Masaki. That should be enough. Press square to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. I am actually going... Okay, this is telling you how to navigate the menu navigate your item menu down below yet again and how to place, but this time it's telling you how to place a block. Or how to place a material down for building. Now, she said we had enough to get up, but I want to actually break down some more stuff and collect a few more Thing. Yeah, I want to actually break apart some more of the earth for building later on. So, even though I have enough to leave, I'm going to gather a bit more, and I especially want to gather these white flowers here. So we 
later use as well. Alright, that should be enough, and I'll show a couple neat things that I found playing the demo of this. Um, you can actually examine your tomb here. So there's something written on this gravestone, but it is so old and worn out that the text is illegible. And there is even, when I can swing the camera on the show, right here by where you leave, like a little area with skeletons and some like wall cuffs here, and there's a part you can examine by the cuffs. And it says, Someone has scratched a message into the wall beneath the chains, but the stones are so worn that the writing is illegible. So apparently, someone had written something on your wall. Apparently there was a message on your grave, and someone had written something also where these people were um, imprisoned with you. But I will be right back, because I'm going to need to get a drink to do all the talking that is required in this game. I'll be as quick as I can, so don't leave. Sorry about that. Alright, so... Right there where she wanted us to place it. Then you're just gonna use circle to jump up this... Jump up the blocks there, and then climb up the steps there. Come around here, and the person that was talking to us had marked this square as well for us to place a block. And here is our door into the outside world. Well done, Masaki. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alifgar before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit the somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Masaki, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold the power to create can this world be rebuilt, and the people of Alifgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child, after having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world, and the role you are to play in its uh, salvation. I am Rufus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Okay, so this person talking to us is the spirit slash goddess of the land, Rubus. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, because it's got a double S. Oh, and Masaki, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. And we make it into Cantlin Plains. The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here. Ringed all around with stout fortifications. 
but all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Masaki, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Kanto to its former glory. This will be the first step on my journey to make Yellow Flower rise once more. To this end, I will still want to you a gift. <laughs> a big flag. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of what you see before you. And even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Masaki obtains the banner of hope. Alright, now I'm gonna break that. Because there's a couple sticks right here, which are good for making weapons at the moment. And there's grassy leaves, which are the big leaves that you see, which are the big leaf plants you see sitting on the ground. And those are good for a couple different things we learn how to make here. But I do actually want to go back into the tomb. Crazy as that might sound. Um, are you gonna zoom in on me there? There we go. That was a bit awkward. But the reason is, because I just want to make sure there aren't any of the big pieces of grass that you can break for grassy leaves in here before we leave. I'm pretty sure there aren't, but I just want to be absolutely sure. not looking like there are, so that was kind of a waste, but cannot remember as after finishing most of the demo, I did not actually like keep playing past that too long. And I do want to be careful heading down the hill here because falling from a certain Height will actually damage you. And there's another tree branch. Ooh, we got a chimera here. Ow. And picking up the chimera feather. We have figured out how to make a Camaro wing, which will zip us right back to our base upon use. And the funny thing is we haven't even come across the part of the story that deals with um, what that is considered, or what that ability is called, where we pick up an item and then learn how to make something out of it like that. Alright, so I'm just going to walk around here for a moment and pick up some grassy leaves and white petals for healing cream yes I'm gonna I'm not gonna put down the banner just yet I'm gonna walk around to pick up some white petals grassy leaves and potentially kill some slimes if I run across them for the um, slime goo that they drop These are all materials that will be very useful coming up. At least for the first chapter. Past the first chapter, like I said, was when the demo had stopped and I uh, will be playing completely blind. Alright, so this game just came out today and I had some pre-order. I'm having an issue with the pre-order code, but like I said, I still have access to the day one DLC code. That code worked fine, so I do have the recipes for the gold blocks and the slime blocks, which I plan to use in the sandbox mode streams that we're going to be doing because you can't make those blocks 
in story mode. Alright, I guess there aren't really too many slimes out right now in the immediate area around the base. Right, there is another slime. I'll grab him here in a moment. There we go, got another slime goo. These berries are really helpful at the start of the game before you learn how to make a specific room. If anyone was on the fence about this, thinking it's too close to Minecraft just because the world's kind of blockish and the approach that they took and you build more or less with blocks, um, that's about where the similarity ends more or less, past that. They actually focused more on, like, the story and how you build, because the, the building is really quick and streamlined. And there isn't much to it, as you saw. You just kind of either hit X to build one of the item and it's done automatically, or you would hit square, which is a much smaller text below that. that would, and hitting square would actually make all, would actually make the total number available with, now let me rephrase that, hitting square would use all the resources that you had available to make the total number that you could at the moment. So if you could only make 10 total with what you had on hand, hitting square would do that. I'm just gonna break down some stuff here. That's why I'm kind of just breaking some rocks so the rocks aren't actually giving me anything. Definitely do want the sticks and the leaves that are here, though. Alright, nothing lasts forever, and that's just... The message they give you when one of your weapon, when your first weapon reaches about the end of its um, durability. Alright, so with this table we can actually make the next weapon up, which is really nice. So that's what I did just there, is I went and made the next weapon up on the list for a bit more damage. For a bit later on, once this one actually dies out so that way it doesn't get wasted. Should probably go to the bench there and make some healing cream while I'm at it, because I could use one from getting attacked by that chimera at the very start from when I went back inside of the tomb. Alright, here's another branch. Next, here's a couple more grassy leaves. Those are always really nice. Now, there is a third daytime enemy that we have not seen right now. And those are the Drakis, for those that are familiar with it. Oh, I should say for those people that are familiar with the series. And those are the flying bat enemies that are just like little round balls with bat wings. And they can be a little tough too early on. Right 
but before I go doing anything, I do want to use this to make some more healing cream for myself. So I'm just going to make a couple of these. Because I do need to even use one, so I'm going to make one more than I would just to hold on to. And then we will... Go over to the banner and use it here to place it like they wanted us to. And advance the story. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here is one already. Planting your flag. When you plant your banner of hope, an area around it will become your base. The more your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Okay, so that's just describing how when you put down this flag here, it becomes your base. And as you can see right now, right under my HP, there is another bar that showed up that says base. And it says level 1 on the right side of it. And as you build up your base, that bar fills up. And it levels up every time the bar fills up as you improve the base and add things to it. And the game will get more into that, and it can explain that a little better than I have, because the demo doesn't go too far into getting past um, the level 2 base. But it doesn't explain anything besides, like, setting up some stuff. And just through everything you do in the demo, it got to level 2. It didn't really go into much on, like what, like, leveling up the base really allows you to do. Here's our first person! Yay! What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Residence request. If a, and this is just... And that's just telling you how if... One of the people that has come to live in the town with you um, has a request or a mission or a job they want to ask of you. They'll have this exclamation point over their head, and then you just walk over and talk to them to see what it is. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember if the goddess told you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Hmm. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Masaki, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild camp from alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of this dilapidated house save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L1 and below you by holding R1. That also goes for attacking below and below you to break down blocks or hit enemies. So it's an overall good thing to keep in mind for not only building, but breaking down materials and fighting. Hold down square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make them the house livable once more. And the goddess gives us five blocks of earth. Oop. So three, four. Yeah, you just basically place five blocks. And then once you're finished with a person's request, they'll run over to you cheering like that with a question with a check mark over their head instead of the exclamation mark. Oh, that's incredible. The walls are full of holes, but now they are as good as new. Huh? You fixed it? With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with the voices in his head. And true to any Dragon Quest game, this game has a ton of humor in it with the dialogue. Yeah, sorry, I was taking a drink there to soothe my throat a little bit. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. 
here, take these. I found them on the way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. Quest complete. And she gives us three white petals to make another healing cell. And speaking, I need to heal. <laughs> I totally forgot to do that. Alright, so now she has another quest, but I want to do some more material gathering outside. you can actually equip five different weapons and then you just hit up and down to cycle through them. So now I'm using the oaken clubs that I had made and they can actually hit three blocks instead of two and they do slightly more damage which will be good for fighting the chimeras more which will be good for fighting the drakis and more so the chimeras because of just how much damage the chimeras end up being able to do. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't have broken down that one. <laughs> That's going to break down a bit of this wall as well. Go wander around a bit more here. Get some more branches. Because a cypress stick is one branch, but to get an oaken club, you need two. Alright, here's some more grassy leaves. Those will come in. Pretty handy here very soon. I've always wondered, and this was this little weird hill by itself it was even in the demo, but there wasn't really anything to it. It's gonna kill some slimes here as well. Get some more goo for the items that they make. There's a couple of Drakis down there. Now the Drakis don't have a drop in the sense of the way the slimes do of slime goo. They have like material drops. So they won't always drop something as you can see right there. Where the slimes are always guaranteed to drop their goo. Back here, you! Oh nice, he got a milk blood blossom, which is one of those white flowers. And that is also some another material on the drop that we will learn about. talk to her and find out what her next quest is. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? What? You've got the power to build new things? Hmm. What does build mean? Masaki, my child. Do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm, but I can't use any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you will find a mason's... 
besides your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation you can use to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your favors. Masaki obtains a splat of blue mirror. And a broken branch. So... Oop, okay, there we go. So... One branch and one blue goo from a slime will make five torches. And that's the nice thing. Is like, not everything will make just one item. The Chimera wings are that way too. Or, well, the Chimera fans. But we'll see that a little later on, so yeah. When you make torches, you actually get five torches for one goo and one stick, which is really nice. So right there we got it five torches. I'm just going to make another five just to have some extra. So we talk here again. Hey, where'd you find that torch? You didn't find it? You built it? Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks, I think I understand, sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. And that quest is complete, and she gives us a broken branch, which, as we know, we can make three things with it. We can make one of the two weapons that are available to us right now, or we can make torches with it. So I'm pretty sure what they want us to do is place a torch in the room here to make it an empty room, which gives us 330 points towards of the base level there. And let's talk to her again. I just realized something. You never told me your name. Masaki? What kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you'd have any special powers at all. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, Masaki, you still got those torches you made, right? You should put one in the house. Our room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Okay, so we already went in there with the torches selected and hit square to place the torch, so we can already just kind of finish this quest once we're done with this. Press square to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Brilliant, now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Mustaki. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? Anyway, thanks, Mustaki. Now we have somewhere to live. And we get a seed of life from her for that quest. What makes a room a room? And that's just telling you what she already told you, that to make a room, you have to have walls two blocks high and a source of light in the room. And you want to use this because it will boost your HP by five points there. Like we have some slimes back here. Ooh, ow. Darn it. You got a second head on me, Razor's starting to hit the button. So we're gonna take up these two guys for a couple more goos. Grab some of the grassy leaves that are back here as well. Maybe some sticks too. Nice, got another milk, milky white bud there. Okay, there we go. Two more branches there. Grab 
this branch and we'll grab these two branches. Alright, then I see some more of these berries around, so we'll grab these. What we use them for hasn't actually come into play yet though, so we're just grabbing them for ahead of time at the moment. those for later as well. I see some more berries around the trees down here. So we'll grab these. And that white flag, which is something else we haven't actually um, had them talk about yet, on the compass there is the direction that your town is in, slash the base. So when you ever need to go back to base, you just turn the compass to the direction of the flag, and that's the direction you run in. Hey, Masaki, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? I don't know, maybe you could build something. Masaki Machao. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's the god. That's the goddess of the land again. Masaki, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some fighting. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time. Night or day to rest your to restore your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. Oh Peppa, you read my mind. This time, Masaki, I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses. Young Peppa requests. A straw mattress can be constructed from the grass from grassy leaves. Build one you must first. Masaki, are you alright? Eureka, Masaki works at how to make a straw mattress. Alright, and this is now going into the whole thing with where we learned how to make the chimera fan from just picking up the feather a little bit. Alright, so this is why we needed grassy, or one of the first reasons we needed those grassy leaves. Because you use them to make the first set of beds that you, the first type of bed that you can make. And now we come in here. Oop, nope, wrong option, there we go. And, okay, here we go, one bed, two beds and makes the first basic bedroom. For another 100 points for having a bedroom in there. Wow, look at that. Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Masaki. Whether it is night or day... Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's the, go the goddess again. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you and more powerful monsters will emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base. Rest your head upon a pillow and sleep until morning. Masaki, my child. Gonna take a little drink here. You discovered the means to build a strong mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I have bestowed onto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is the wondrous power you have, which shall no doubt prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild the city. Masaki, hello! Masaki! Was the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. You gotta pay more attention to what's going on all around you. Masaki, if you keep spacing out like that, you'd never get anything done. And thus, with what Pippa says right there, we gain the semblance of time passing, as it said in the little white text that um, popped up over our head there. 
And time flies, and that's just explaining the little gauge that shows up in the middle of the compass that represents the time of day. Masaki, can I ask you something? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Huh? You know, it's not just me. Last time I tell me wrong, but you must be hearing things again. But anyway, look, there are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small, and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. You can go and get some plumberries for me. Oh, can you go and get some plumberries for me, Saki, please? We'll need at least five for a decent meal. A plumberry is a small pink fruit that never falls far from the tree. Perhaps you should take a look and see if there are any nearby. Wow, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? Uh, sure. Hooray, thanks, Masaki. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. And your tummy starts to rumble, and she gives us three of the five berries. And thus, we gain the hunger meter. Woohoo! And I'm gonna wander around a bit more here. Grab some more grassy leaves. Maybe get a couple more goose from slime. Ouch. Okay, and there's a red flower bud from the dragon there. If you're wondering, I'm not just running straight through all of the quests to break up the game a little bit more. I'm also kind of not wanting to just get through the first chapter right away in the first dumb stream here. You know, I might end up doing that anyway, but I don't want to do it too quickly. Alright, so I got some mushrooms, got some berries. Ow! Ow! Wouldn't let me get a, a tag off on him after his first hit on me. But as I say, yeah. Going out and gathering materials and fighting some monsters here and there in between quests to break up the story a little bit. And gather materials for myself so that we're not just strictly doing story. And. Tracking things out just a tiny bit, not too much. And also help keeping supplies for everything up. And as you saw there, we actually got a red flower bud from the Drakki there, which will give us red flower petals. And even though you can get red flower buds to plant and gather red petals from the Drakis, I actually do not know of anything that can be made from them because... I actually never had anything pop up with them when I got them in the demo saying, Oh, you can make this. I just want to finish this wall. Ah, there we go. Much better now. Break that block. Okay, then let's go see what she wants me to do now. AKA what her all AKA her next quest. You know, Masaki, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all the trees and grass and stuff, and use the materials that you find to build new things, right? 
It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? It sure would. After all, you're going to have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Why? Well, it's a secret. Tee hee. But you should still make something to put all your stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage the resources you gather would serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve such a, per such a role? And thus he has discerned of the concept of a chest for storage. Watch now it serves as a means of storing items that also does actually give you um uh you didn't have to jump up there but okay the chest also gives you more points towards your base level which is nice wow you made a chest now you can put all the stuff you've collected in there and go and collect even more stuff you know Masaki, there's something i've always wondered what exactly has happened to this world they say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. He's about as bad as they come, and I love that they use that wording there for the bad guy. It's pretty funny. Ever since it's been it's been all ever since it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Take another drink here. As you can see, it's a lot of talking, and we're just in chapter one here. And we only have one other person talking to us besides the goddess, and it's mainly Pippa talking, not the goddess. So it's gonna be a lot of talking as people join. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild the city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're in anything could happen, we should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the world, in the whole wide world. I'll have I'll have a think about what we need to build and you will build it. Hmm. You're going to help me, aren't you, Masaki? Aren't you? Quest completed and she gives us another two broken branches. I think I want to make another two open clubs right now just to have them on hand. Alright, there we go. And we shall come down here and throw this chest into our bedroom. Oop, wrong option. Everything else in there for the time being. Alright, there we go. Alright, when you want to save, you just come up to your banner here and you'll say it says hit X to save. And that'll, when you do that, that'll just pull up the save menu. And sorry that it stopped right there briefly. I want eat you just select it and you'll see at the bottom it'll say just like it says hit hit square to use or place it'll say hit square to eat and the video stopped for a second because I saved there Oop, come on here we go it's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city isn't it is there anything I can do to help like maybe I could build something that would be pretty helpful wouldn't it but if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Masaki, can you build me a room like the one I've, like the one I've drawn, please? Pretty please? It would seem that your example has awoken within young Pippa of the world to build. Blueprints such as the one she has gifted onto you may be laid on the ground by pressing square 